The Digital Show with David Lusterman. Today, Dave's guests include actor Arnold Workensafer, musical group High Availability, and scientist Carl Dweeben. Also, stupid user tricks. And now, a man who has Unix tattoos all over his body, David Clusterman. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. My name is Dave Clusterman, and welcome to the big program. Now, are you folks like me? Huh? Do you, you find the thing that's so distinctive about these trade shows is the aroma? It's, it's that subtle bend, blend of uh, giveaway plastic bags and vaporware. <laughs> now, on this program, we don't rely on such cheap, tawdry tricks to keep you interested in here. We have nifty yellow hats. Yeah. Let me get those hats to the back. Yeah. Ooh, right to the back row. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in for an informative and thrill-packed show because today we're going to show you how digital can keep you up and running in Unix better than any other company. Meanwhile, say hello to my good friend, Mr. Paul Server. He's right over there. There's a kooky, weird kind of energy at the expo today. Can you feel it, Dave? Oh, there certainly is. A lot of fabulous. kooks and weirdos. It's fabulous. I'm all a Twitter. <laughs> and why are we here? I'll tell you why we're here. A crash. Now, if you're used to working with conventional Unix, you know that crashes are part of the landscape. Mm. But if you're looking to put Unix to work in a commercial application, you can't afford for that system to be down. You need two things. High availability. Systems that are up and running for the maximum time possible. Fabulous. Just like this people, up and running right <laughs> over here. And you need rapid application recovery. So you can reopen the application if there is a crash and you can get back to doing what they pay you for, which is to play Tetris and SimCity and things like that. Well, today we're going to show you how digital can get you up and running in just seconds after a server breakdown. How do they do that, Dave? Well, Paul, they do it through a technology called clustering. Fabulous. With clustering, Unix is safe even for mission critical application. Ooh, I like that. Kind of a Darth Vader thing you got That's there. right, fabulous. mission critical application. Well, you know, that's fabulous like because this. digital sort of invented clustering with that wacky VMS system, didn't they? They absolutely did. One question though, what's a cluster? I was hoping you'd ask. I'm here for you. A cluster is an array of computers that are linked. So that if one server goes down, another kicks in and you're up and working again almost immediately. That is fabulous. A digital cluster can have you working again in under a minute. The fastest recovery time in the business. But for digital, <laughs> that's not enough. To keep the excitement at a fever pitch, digital throws in these features. True interoperability with yeah. other Unix clients yeah. and, are you ready for this? No more file system checks. No matter how many files you have. So with digital, Unix has finally grown up, Dave. That's right, Paul. We're very proud. Fabulous. Coming up later, a demonstration. But first, I hold in my left hand a copy of tonight's top ten list. Today's top ten list, the top ten stupid comments overheard at Unix Expo. The top 10 stupid comments overheard at Unix Expo from our home office in Maynard, Massachusetts. Number 10, those New York cab drivers, they're really very friendly. <laughs> Number nine, with all the migration tools HP is offering, the move to version 10 must be easy. What does that mean? I don't know, Paul. Get I'm going. Sure. Number eight, file system check. It'll only take a second. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Number seven stupid comment. Hey, if it wasn't ready, they wouldn't advertise it, right? Number six. IBM must love Unix. They have so many of them. Uh oh <laughs> Number five. Sun really likes Motif because it has such an open look. I don't know. I, I don't can't know help you either. there, Dave. Number four. High availability. Sounds like Madonna. Yes. Number three. It doesn't matter how slow the spark chip is. Sun has SMP. <laughs> I love Number that. Number two. I hear the IBM booth features tasteful nudity. Let's go. go tasteful. Over there. Ooh. And the stupidest comment overheard at Unix Expo. You know those two lettermans at Unix Expo? 
I hear that one of them isn't really dead. No! Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a portion of our, our show we like to call the stupid user trick. Now, you see in front of me three digital servers. That's a tiny cluster, if you will. Now, I'm going to call up someone who's been pre-selected from the audience, a volunteer, a real person, such as yourself, to come up and perform today's stupid user trick. And your name is? Dan Wright. This is Dan Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, give Dan a big hand. Step right on up, Dan. Okay. Now, Dan, what is your stupid user trick? I'm going to crash your server. He's going to crash the server. Terrific, Dan. I really love to see that. Great. OK, what we're going to do is you see up here on the screen, we have an actual computer, uh, uh, actual uh, readout of what's going on with the computer. And we have a hard-linked, hardwired box, junction box over here. And Dan, if you could step right there. And when I give you the signal, if you could throw the switch. Now, what we'll be looking for is to see how long it takes for our digital server, our tiny little cluster here, to get the system up and running. OK, drum roll, please, Wayne. Dan, throw the switch. And you notice the system is crashed. Now, if this was, woo, if this was an HP or Sun system, we could be waiting 20 minutes or more. If it had a reboot, we could be here for an hour. But our system is up and running again. Right here, Dan, we have something for you. The Digital Show would like to present you with your very own canned spam. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Wright. Thank you very much, Dan. Oh, one more thing, Dan. You can't go anywhere without your Unix license plate. Live free or die from our home office. OK, now, you've seen the failover effect with the digital cluster. Let's go cross town to meet some folks who are using a conventional Unix system. Now these folks handle reservations for a major hotel chain and their server has just crashed. You can't get any work done, right? That's right, Dave, we're frozen. We don't have a cluster. We can't reboot without a system administrator. I'm sure we'll be back online soon. I'm sure, but uh, if you're not up by Christmas, we'll send a sled in after you. Okay, Dave, we'll okay. be fine. Why don't you maybe try hitting a key or something? Maybe a couple more times? Okay, we'll get back to you later. They must be using CMP. OK, my first guest is a man who needs no introduction. He is quite simply the biggest movie star in the world today. Would you welcome, please, Arnold Workensafer. Hello, everybody. David, how are you? Good to see you. Arnold. Nice to oh, see you. Oh, how are you? Good to see you. It's good to have you. Ah. So now tell me, uh, what have you been working on? Well, I've been starring in my latest blockbuster movie, Safe Failover. You're going to love it. Safe Failover. Yeah, now that's yeah. when your server fails, but you're safely transferred over to another server, right? Very good, Dave. In a safe failover. Do I learn my business? If one of your servers goes down, another one kicks in, so you'll get rapid recovery, and you can get back to work right away. Well, now tell us about the movie. Well, I play a heroic system administrator using a digital 64-bit alpha system. My specialty is online storage management. It's fabulous. In the film, I add disks, I reconfigure the system, and I do a full backup all without making users stop work. Wow, sounds great. Now this is a science fiction film, right? No, Dave. It's based on a true story. Digital has all this technology available today. Available today! Yeah. All yeah. right, yeah. sounds great. Uh, do we have a clip on this? Oh, yeah. OK, you need to set this up? Sure. Now, in this scene, I'm doing online tuning for maximum performance, when suddenly I encounter my arch enemy, the evil Cruella de Bug. She's very Ooh. scary. You're going to like this. Let's roll the clip. Here we go. What are you doing? Crashing your server. Your online management days are over. I was about to reconfigure this system for maximum performance. I can crush your evil scheme. Not until you're back online, you can't. And with the Unix crash, that won't be for hours. Meanwhile, I'll be spreading false information. Like what? I'll tell everyone Digital's Unix is proprietary. That's a lie. Digital supports open systems, Unix. Then I'll tell lies about online management. That's not so special, I'll say. Lots of vendors offer that. You're crazy. Digital is the only Unix vendor with online storage management. Only digital lets systems administrators add disks, do backups, and move files from one disk to another, all without shutting down the system. Users can even do their own file on deletes. All true. 
But with your system down, you won't be able to tell anyone that. And it won't be back online again for hours. I'll dominate the market faster than you can say. Application recovery? It's back online already. Welcome to Clusterville. Yeah! I'm back to work. Online storage management plus a 30 second failover. Nobody offers availability like that. Digital does, baby. Oh, oh say tremendously failover. exciting. Yeah. Safe failover from digital, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna love it. Arnold working safer. Now that was pretty darn exciting, I think. Now, let's just go back cross town to our friends to see if they're up and running yet. So, uh, you been able to get any work done yet? I'm almost there. Almost there. Not yet. We're still running our file system check, but I'm sure it'll be done soon. A few minutes, a couple of hours, someday. I got it! Huh? Huh? Okay, well, obviously not using a digital system. We'll be back to you a little bit later. Now, we told you that digital has eliminated the file system check, the FSCK, or as we like to call it, the FSUC. For more on that, we're going to go to our special roving correspondent, my mom. How you doing, mom? Hello, hey. David. Yeah. So, what's going on, mom? What do you got there for us beside a fireman? I'll show you. Oh, great. Mom's going to show us, ladies and gentlemen. This is a printout of all the information your computer has to go through for a file system check. That's an FSCK, David. Yeah, Ma, we call it an FSUC. Now, that's a lot of data, and it certainly would take a long time, but digital has eliminated that problem, right? Right. DEC OS F1, digital Unix, has a log-based file system that eliminates the FSCK completely. So this whole laborious process is a thing of the past. Log-based, that's great, Mom. So now that cabinet is useless, uh, what are you gonna do with it? We're gonna blow it up. Excuse me? We're gonna blow it up. Okay, Mom, blow it up. But uh, you be careful, maybe wear your goggles. Don't worry. Mom, 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 I always worry. You know what you used to tell me? Every time I left the house, all the time. Safety first. Safety first. That's right, Mom. Hello, John. John. Ladies and gentlemen, my mom's special fireman friend, John. Help. Thank you, dear. Be careful. Take cover. Bunga! Now, I hope we made our point about the file system check. Thanks, Mom. That was really great. Mom? Hey, Mom, can you hear me? Mom? Oh, there she is. Ladies and gentlemen, my mom. Now, for the hat, for the hat, what company has eliminated the file system check? Oh, there's a man with it. Let's get one over there. That's right, no more f -suck. My next guest is a brilliant scientist. He's also made, gotten a huge following explaining science to the general public. Would you welcome, please, Dr. Carl Dweeben. Over here, Carl. Hello, David. Good to see you again. So, what did you bring for us today? What ah. do you see for the future? Clusters, Dave. Billions and billions of clusters. They offer greater uptime and availability and productivity, and they make it easy to manage multiple systems. I find them a source of endless fascination. Jim As David. do we all, Carl, I'm you? sure. Now, how do we know which clusters are right for us? Ah. I mean, we're busy people. Which ones are worth our time, and which ones are just for a bunch of losers? Well, Dave, first of all, remember, a cluster is only as good as the server it's based on. And great servers use DEC OS F1. It's the foundation of Digital's Unix clusters. 
It conforms to SPEC 1170, the common Unix API standard, as you know. And more importantly, it gives you the highest percentage of APIs of any Unix on the market today. How about that, sir? Well, that's great. Now, mm -hmm. tell us some of the, uh, well, the, uh, the advantages of sure. Digital's Unix. Dave, there are billions and billions. Tell me of, some. OK, well, first of all, 64-bit um, capability. Hmm? Digital 64-bit capability lets you address every disk ever built since the beginning of time. No kidding. I never kid, Dave. Let me put it another way. A 32-bit system will let you hold, say, 45 seconds of uncompressed video in memory. But digital 64-bit architecture will let you hold 50 million hours. 50 million hours, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, my entire collection of Gilligan's Island. Every coconut, little buddy. <laughs> but remember, 64 <laughs> bits is just the beginning. Digital also offers binary capability. Now, that's a Unix that, as you know, runs on both your low-end desktop and your high-end servers. The competition, they yeah. want you to buy two separate Unix versions and then deploy all your applications twice. It's ridiculous. Well, Carl, have they got their head in the sand? Don't they realize 64 bits is better? No, 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 no. of course they do. Sit down, Dave. The question is, how do you get there? Well, digital gets you there now. Their 2100 server. This one over here looks like a trash compactor, isn't it? It's the cutting edge in servers. It gets you to 64 bits on a rocket. <laughs> What about HP, IBM, and Sun? Mm, more of a go-kart, Dave. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, they intend to migrate users. You might arrive in 96 or 99, but you won't have investment protection. Sounds like a messy way to go. No, it's ugly, Dave. And until they work out those migration plans, you are stuck with yesterday's technology. Stuck? Yes. Mm -hmm. ah! Attention, visitors at Sun. Pull out. Protect yourself. No. Don't buy last year's technology. Dave. Sit down. Put down that ridiculous prop. Let me tell you something else. Digital helps protect your investment also by letting you use any Unix system or PC as clients in the cluster. They even let you cluster SMP servers for availability and scalability. Availability. Sounds mm -hmm. like the word of the day. No, it is. That's why digital's clusters have what we call failover to multiple nodes with load balancing. It's wonderful. OK, I'm a dumb guy. What the hell does that mean? Now, 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 Dave. First of all, don't sell yourself short. If one of your servers should fail, its workload is spread among all the others. Ah. Instead of just one hot standby, like over at the HP booth, mm. those people are scum. Well, now, can you tell me anything more that you see happening in the future of Unix? Well, my old professor, Dr. Wolfgang Unixspieler, once said, Carl, someday we'll have breakthroughs like CDE, Tuxedo, Oracle Parallel Server, and Informix, with all the systems connected with a high-speed memory channel a way to connect nodes up to a hundred times faster than a conventional network. Carl, he said, these breakthroughs will dominate the market. So these are all available in the future? These are all available in the booth. Digital has all this technology available today. That's great. And ladies all of and you gentlemen, can find out about it by coming to the that's demos That's Dr. Carl Dweeben. Ladies demos, and gentlemen, Dr. Carl Dweeben. I'm going over to the Thank demos you, now. Thank you, Carl. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Hello, demo people. Now, we got about enough time to check back with our friends using the conventional Unix system. See if they're up yet. Uh... <laughs> Utter desolation. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You can either be dying to get back to work, or you can go with digital. That's all we have time for. My apologies to our musical group, High Availability. We didn't get to their hit single, Up and Running, but you can check it out in the booth all around us. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dave Klusterman. Why don't you stay tuned for a sensational video. Can a guy in a bear suit get into Unix Expo? Thank you very much. Have a good time in the booth.